Oh, didn't see you there. Welcome, come on in, come on in guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you around my studio today. A lot of you guys have been asking what instruments I use and you know what's my setup, so today, let's let's just go, let's go skidaroo, skidladoo. So this is my acoustic guitar. It's a nice, fresh, young Martin. I really like that brand, it's between a Martin and a Taylor. Those are my favorites. Um, I've been playing guitar for a very long time. It was the first instrument that I ever got, and I actually got inspired to play guitar by um, when I was like thir in third grade at a talent show, my sister's talent show, and this band, they played Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day, and, and in that moment, I'm like, I wanna be a fucking musician. Summer has come and passed, the innocent wake me up when mom and dad accept me. This here is when I'm losing subscribers and have no will to live. I just hop on in the hole to another universe. So this is my dog, Ronnie. You guys may have seen him in some of my videos. He's really awesome, I love him very much. Um, and you guys comment sometimes because he has this like green marker next to his ball sack. It's like permanent marker, it won't come off. Um, this is because um, he had his balls removed. <laughs> and I think during the surgery, maybe when he was passed out, the doctors were like, Oh, what's drawing his dick? So they, they drew permanent marker on it. I don't know. Here's my recording mic. It's a condenser mic. It's an AKG P220. Got it at Guitar Center. It's pretty good, like for the price. It gets the job done. I definitely want to upgrade soon because I'm not getting quite the sound I want, but it's definitely like good enough. These are the studio headphones I use. They're Yamahas. These are actually really fucking nice. So for my mini keyboard, I use this um, Alessis. I don't like having like the fucking small like one octave bullshit. Like I, I just like to have the, the full range uh, of octaves on the keyboard. It's pretty good. It wasn't too expensive and no keyboard that I found around this price range has the a feel like this one. Like it just feels good when you press down. It, it's like heavy keys and I like. Also, it's a USB uh, mini keyboard so it di plugs directly into your computer through a USB it doesn't go through like an XLR it doesn't go into your interface which like people talk shit on sometimes but honestly like shut the fuck up it does it gets the job done perfectly it, it really like it there's no delay there's no latency so this is the audio interface I use it's a Steinberg UR22 mark 2 um, audio interface it's pretty good I'm totally happy with it the speeds are good like I don't have any latency issues um, it's very comparable to the Scarlett. They have a similar um, entry level interface, but this one's way better than the Scarlett. Fuck the Scarlett, don't get it. So what I do is usually I plug in my mic right here and I plug in my guitar right there, and that's pretty much all I need. Also in the back, there's um, XLR plugs, so you can plug in like a MIDI cable through the back. This is an entry level interface. It's nothing fancy, um, but it gets the job done for the price especially. So these are the speakers I use. I get a lot of questions about that. They're the JBL. LSR 305, I believe. Again, nothing crazy, pretty entry level um, studio monitors. My only thing is that they're a little bassy, but you know, overall it's pretty good. So as you can see right here, they're placed, like the, the speaker is at my nip level, nipple level, but they're actually supposed to be like elevated up to your ear level. So that's a tip for you guys. But you know, I got this beautiful beer pong production studio table <laughs> that I use so I can't you know elevate them maybe I'll put some textbooks under there or some shit specifications on the beautiful beer pong table it's a what is that oak hard hard oak oak wood also we got some beautiful sturdy extremely sturdy and aren't fucking wobbly at all see that no wobble <laughs> so the DAW or DAW, as the cool kids like to say, that I use is Logic Pro X. Um, I'm I'm fluent in Logic Pro X and in FL Studio. I actually started out with FL. Um, people talk shit on Logic because it's like GarageBand and it's very simple and easy to use, um, which I don't know why you would talk shit on that because it's great, it's fantastic. It has all the capabilities of Ableton or FL. Like pe People want to argue, everyone has a different opinion on it. My, my thing is to each their own. If you like Logic, use it. If you like Ableton, whatever, just use what you like. This is just the project that I'm working on right now. This is the upcoming single, which uh, you know I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of. All right, ready? Boom! There it is. Hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed that. The computer I use, I definitely invested a lot into this because it was very important to me. It's one of the good pieces of equipment I have. Is my computer. It's an iMac. 
It's 3.2 gigahertz Intel Core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's pretty good, really fast. I have no issues with it. I'm really, really happy to with it. It makes my workflow just like so smooth. And you know, I'm someone who like you know edits music and edits videos, and like I need a fast thing. So I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing is like Macs are pricey as fuck. So um, this is by far my favorite piece of equipment that I have, just because there's a lot of personal um, value to me. Like guitar was my first instrument ever. I love it, and this is like the all white, all white Fender Stratocaster. Um, it's kind of like the the one Jimi Hendrix had. Jimi Hendrix was a huge idol of mine growing up. Wanted to be just like him, so now that I have this, I'm really happy. Um, it plays super smooth. It's like your fingers are orgasming on the frets. Great overall guitar, and I love this thing. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much the end of this tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing my stuff. So real quick, I just want to talk about something. Um, as most of you guys know, the whole ad revenue situation on YouTube just fucking sucks. No one's making any money off ads anymore. Um, I'm literally making a few bucks a month, like literally a few bucks a month off ads. So if you want to support the channel, um, you know, helping me create these like videos three times a week, creating new music, music videos, you know, helping me fucking upgrade from this beer pong of a desk, um, you can join my Patreon. A uh, link is below in the description, and you can donate like a monthly, like two dollars or whatever, um, just to support the channel. So your money's going straight back into the channel, helping me upgrade my equipment, download new VSTs, plugins, you know, get more mugs, get a better desk, so I don't have to use this beer pong table. But if you guys don't have the means to donate, then no worries at all. I'm always gonna be making these videos three times a week, whether or not you donate. But if you're someone who wants to support and just give a few bucks a month, then that is greatly appreciated. It's the first link in the description below. Um, just go check it out. I wrote you guys a personal letter there too um, if you want to check that out. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.